Hey guys, welcome back to the Business of Art. Today we're going to go over how to package a painting for shipping. Um, and these are some of the supplies you may need. You may be able to do it with less, but I use bubble wrap, parchment paper, cardboard, tape, box cutter kind of thing. I just got these cool labels from the dollar store, from Dollar Tree. And then either some kind of padded packing or a box. Now, real quick for my U.S. customers, um, there are two priority mailboxes that work pretty well. And just so you know, there's two different ones. One is a medium flat rate box, and one is just a mailing box, okay? The flat rate box, same price no matter what. This one, it depends on the weight. Uh, the regular mailing box is a better size because it is not as wide. So you don't have to fit so much bubble wrap in there. And in this box, you can easily fit um, a 12 by 12, an 11 by 14. Actually, not an 11 by 14, but I've done it. Um, an 11 by 14 or an 8 by 10 or a couple 8 by 10s. Um, or, of course, smaller. So that's always an option. Today, I'm going to pack up an 8 by 10, uh, which I ship in the bubble mailers. I get these from the dollar store from Dollar Tree. Uh, you can get them other places, I'm sure, like Walmart and whatnot. So first step is to completely cover this with parchment paper. And when I say completely, I mean the sides and everything, not just the front. So don't be stingy. I like to give a nice big piece and we're just gonna this piece will completely cover that okay um, now I used to then go right into the bubble wrap however over time I've changed it actually a little bit to I now put cardboard up against this directly okay so I have this this piece of cardboard you can use old mailing boxes that were mailed to you etc and I'm going to just cut two pieces that are 8 by 10 out of here. So let's see. I'm going to just kind of generally measure this. This piece actually has uh, things kind of sticking off of it. So I'm going to cut around those. So let's put the painting aside. And then we'll cut out this. Of course, be careful of what you have underneath what you're cutting. And we're going to cut two of these. So I'm going to cut another one that's about the same size. Does not have to be perfect. And this is definitely not a lesson on cutting cardboard, okay? I am not an expert by far. Alright, there we go. So now we have our two cardboard pieces cut. So let's go ahead and we're basically going to sandwich this in. So we put our always parchment paper directly against the painting. Always, always, always. That is because nothing sticks to the parchment paper. So if it gets hot in transit or anything like that, you won't ruin your painting. Okay, so always parchment paper directly against it. And then we're going to put the cardboard there. So we put one piece on top. And one piece on bottom. So we now basically have a sandwich with a little bit of extra room around it. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and bubble wrap. So I bubble wrap both directions. And I always bubble wrap with the bubbles on the outside. Just for extra, extra protection. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and do this direction. Okay, add your piece of tape, and then we're going to do the other direction. 
Okay, good. So at this point, this is completely bubble wrapped. It's quite secure. We've got the cardboard. We've got the parchment paper. Honestly, like, it would take a lot to do anything harmful to this. So at this point, we just go ahead and put it into our bubble mailer. Now, if you want, you can go even crazier with the bubble wrap. You can also add additional pieces of cardboard if you're worried about it. I ship all of mine priority mail. So I really don't worry about it because um, it's going to get there pretty fast. So go ahead and seal this. Whoops. And then I write fragile all over it. So in this case, I got these new fancy stickers. So I'm going to just go ahead and use these because they're nice and bright. Okay, these envelopes also already do say fragile, but still, let's put a couple stickers on there just because it's fun. And there you go. That's literally all you have to do. If you want, you can put, sometimes I put extra tape on any seams. Um, like, let's go ahead and just do one piece here. There we go. So that's literally it. That's all you do. Customer's name and address and everything. Um, so in an upcoming video, I will go into um, making a custom box for a bigger piece. Obviously, this is easy. These envelopes are great for, um, let's see, they're 12.25 by 18 inches. That's the usable dimensions. So they're great for quite a couple, quite a few sizes. Even the 20 by 10s, the 10 by 20s, I usually just use two envelopes. I put one on one side and one on the other side because they're 18 inches long. Um, and then it's double packed. So it's only when I get to a wider size, like anything above 12 inches, that this no longer works. And I then go into custom boxing. So I'll show that in the upcoming video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.